Thank you guys for coming in. Not a problem. Definitely um, anything you know, for you, man. Janelle and Rinaldi are two of my actual real clients that I've represented over the prior years. And um, Janelle was a more recent case that we had. Rinaldi's was actually way back when. Ten we years when ago. We we lived in the same area, and he worked. <laughs> uh, he worked in a in my in my, where I lived, and we became friends and. Uh, he's referred me lots of family members over the years and done the best job I can. Obviously, some cases are bigger, some cases are smaller. Janelle's was on the, on the bigger side. <laughs> so, big. you know, we wanted to just uh, do a little client attorney debrief. So thank you guys for coming in <laughs> to the studio. Well, uh, you guys are like family. I've been chopping it up with Rinaldi for like 10 years now. So crazy. it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. So... Take me back to like when your crash happened and like what what was your thought process? Did you have any other lawyers or people telling you to hire different people or how did it go? Oh yeah, I had like well, I was working at the chiropractor's office, you know, he was he actually had a lawyer you know, presented to me and I was going to him because I hadn't had anybody else right. knowing anybody else in, in the in the vicinity, but after talking to Ronaldo, he was telling me, you know, he knows somebody, like you know, somebody that he actually trusts, and I trust Ronaldo. So if he knows somebody that that he trusts, you know, I would trust that person too. So and he presented me with you, and then hey, we, was, we had to the do rest it. is history. We had yeah. To do it. Well, you had you are you got uh, taken to the hospital though, didn't you? Yeah, after the crash, um, it was uh, a pretty bad one too. Yeah, he checked me a little bit, and then we ended up going to the hospital just to check up, you know, anything was wrong with me at the time. Right. And how did you find out about the crash? Did he call you from the hospital? No, I mean, he called me from the road because we got in like a close-knit family. Right. So he was on his way up, you know, to the uh, Southwest Florida and, you know, and find out that he was hit. And I thought it was just like a minor thing, you know. And then you saw and the picture. You saw the pictures and traffic all backed up. It's crazy. You know, my mother-in-law, his mom, you know, uh, uh, we live in the same home and everything, so we kind of like hiding it from her and everything. Oh, so wow. So we don't want okay. her to go yeah, crazy. She, 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 yeah, because as long excited. as he's okay, <laughs> right, right. Not, she's going to think he's dying. Exactly. So not exactly. exactly. You hear a crash so. and me going to the hospital, it's, it's all uh, Unnecessary uh, it's all drama. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. so I remember that picture. There's like that picture where your car, the whole back is smashed, and it's like almost like you got ran off not just off the road, right. but off the part of the side of the road, all the way down into like the brush. <laughs> it's crazy because I believe when I was driving, I was in the middle of the lane. Right. And once after the crash, I end up in the ditch. So I, I believe, I mean, because I can't really remember exactly right. how it happened, but people was telling me that the car had at least turned a bunch at least, of times. At least huh? two yeah. times yeah. To, for me to end up in the Because there ditch. was damage on the front too. Correct. Yeah, so yeah. like the hood was bent, you know, the headlights were basically yeah. gone so it's just it was a it was a intense yeah crash. it was a big and you actually have wound up going to the hospital on the west coast right correct yeah it was in naples yeah because so it, uh, it was on alligator alley that yeah, it happened right it was yeah. literally on uh, and the I-75. statistics are not good like any accident on alligator alley the fatality not rate good. is way higher than like just a normal crash exactly. i mean plus it was kind of like right now it's drizzling kind of raining type Super of dangerous. so it's like so they're you're very lucky that i mean you know god you, willing you're, you're okay relatively speaking it could have yeah. been worse but, um, could have been a lot worse so then what did he tell you he's like oh no i got a lawyer like do you remember that no, conversation I, it, uh, the conversation he's the type of guy that he doesn't like to go to the long process right uh, because he doesn't like wasting time. Right. Correct. He, yeah. He, he nice. read it like move on. Yeah. Just get and, it over and, with. And he was kind of like ready to just you know what I'm filing my claim with my insurance to get my car replaced. Basically, and that's, that's the only it. Thing. I'm, I'm good. not. I'm not dead. I'm it, not like exactly, I don't need a lawyer. Or whatever. Exactly. I mean. And I think one of the reasons he was kind of like, kind of like questioning the aspect of going through the whole process is because he heard of horror stories. Yeah. You know, horror stories of either lawyer taking advantage of clients yeah. or... Did all this or, treatment, I got like 500 bucks. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Or, or, or sometime, you know, you get presented to someone, they're not working in your case, it's just, they you never know, get you their paralegal or something right. and you never heard anything. Right. So he's really impatient when it comes to that. So I'm like, yo, <laughs> you know... Brent, he's pretty responsive. 
you know, he, he's going to talk to you. Number, Dude, right? like exactly. The first, I'm like, the first day. Like, first I call you. Yeah, you call, I call me first. You and I I'm like, and I'm like, expect, you know, can you call him and make him introduce yourself and, right. and get him comfortable with right. you? Because I tell him, you my guy right. and he's going to take care of you. So, you know, I, I don't know what. He still was kind of like skeptical. Of course. I mean, but it, I don't know what you did that like get him <laughs> over the hump. You probably did something as far as how you stay in touch with him. Of course. You know, the, so. com- the conversation that we have, even like the first conversation that we had, like, uh, like you explaining to me exactly what to go about, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Call this person, or you're going to call this person. Or basically, at that point in time, you're going to handle everything and I already feel that, okay, I, have, I found somebody that can help me in the right. aspect that I know they can. So, I'm glad that you called me that day so I can, no, you know, uh, get the whole process going because I didn't know exactly how I was going to go about the situation, even though I'll probably just find another lawyer or I don't or know. Or just give they, up and just say, fuck it. You know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm, I'm really glad that you called. And, no, you know, you, well, thank you. you and I'm a pleasure to represent you. Obviously, uh, you're a wonderful client, not just because we got a really big settlement because, you know, because you're just a really easy to work with guy. You listen when hey, we I'm a talk, guy, man. I'm a simple when person. I res- text you, you respond. You know, you know, just you're cooperative. You know, you, you listen, you pay attention. So it's a pleasure to represent people like you. And and funny enough, the people that are like you, my clients that mm-hmm. are just like, tell me how it works, right. and you know, let's just work on this thing together. I'm Basically. not gonna be toxic. Those clients always get like the best settlements. I don't I mean, know why it works that way, but it does. If you have communication, you shouldn't have a problem. Like if you tell me what to do, I'm not the expert. You're the right. expert. So right. you tell me to do something, I'll do it because right. I'm I'm trusting you. To help me. And if you you don't understand why, then you ask. And I explain it to you. And then the whole process from A to B was, I mean, from A to Z was completely. A to B, he worked that fast? (laughs) I know he did work that fast. It did actually go pretty quickly, but that's because we were a good team. That's what I was going to say. A case like his usually drag on for years. And I'm glad it did it, man. Years on. I mean, it was less. I would not be able to do it two was years, three years, four years of the just. It was that less than process. a year. It was like eight, accident it was like happened nine months, I think. Basically, yeah, yeah accident happened uh, July fourth. July, July second. July second. July of weekend. Yeah, that's right. It was yeah. crazy. It was and we settled it like in uh, April or yeah. April yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it's important kind of topic because a lot of people are very similar to you. They're like, well. I'm not that hurt, mm-hmm. you know. I don't want to like go to some lawyer and like talk to all these people and like, wh- how much can I really get? Like the end of the day, of two thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Maybe I might get nothing. They're gonna make me go to the chiropractor a million times Basically. or all these doctors, and then they'll probably just drop my case at the end after like they take all the insurance. So, right, right, right. You know, that's the kind of thing that you probably were thinking about, right? Of course. I mean, like, like I said, like I wasn't. I'm not too familiar with the whole process, so. <laughs> With somebody that's more familiar with it, with you telling me exactly what to do, where to go, what time to be there, right? Hey, I won't mind doing. Yeah, that we talk about your injuries. We talk about what symptoms you're having. Right. You know, we figure out what the doctors are telling you. We go over the MRI reports. Right. You know, you get an opinion from this kind of doctor. You get an opinion from this kind of doctor. And what I like about you, though, that you gave me more options. You went from one doctor to another doctor just to see. Yeah, you you want to get as many opinions as you need to feel comfortable with sport before you get any kind of procedures or whatever done because, you know, it's a big deal, you know, and you want to make sure that you treat your body properly. Of course. But, um, But, yeah, that skepticism that people have is... It's, it's real. real. I mean, it's it's really real because you know you don't know the people. Yeah. I mean, we don't know because, like I said, we're not the expert. We don't know. We don't know better. But you see all the advertisements and you I think like I've seen them you're like, man, young, like, are these even real? If it's real, like, <laughs> oh, this guy got me a million dollars. Like, he probably lost his leg or right. something. Like, tell I'll me, call this like, guy insure sure any time of the night, any time of the day. I'm like, come on. Nah. Really? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just... The, Out of all these clients, you're going to find a time to just answer my phone call? Yeah. You're or like, is it yeah. something that you're just saying to make me feel good, you know? Yeah, it's some BS marketing, right? Exactly. That's what you think. Exactly, you know? But um, so, so then we got on the phone, and it was interesting because this is the way the world works now. Mm-hmm. You know, I think when we first spoke, you, you kind of wanted to meet. But, right, right. And I'm happy to meet, but like we also did really like we established a lot on our first phone call. We went over everything. Basically, yes. And then we were like, 
you know, we don't need, I'm like, do you need to meet? You're like, no, I guess we don't need to meet now. I'm like, cause everything's like, as you know, now everything right. is digital in my office. Like everything, you get everything immediately. You signed it on your phone. And your you assistant need this. Is, is awesome. Yeah. Was she's it, the best. Mailey, Mailey. Mailey. Yeah. She's Let awesome. Let her know I say hi. Cause she's awesome. She, I will. She'll see this. She'll, 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 she'll love to hear that. But so we we're talking and I'm like, look, we can meet, <clears throat> right. but we're going to just talk about the exact same stuff that we just talked about on the phone, right? right? right so right. we could, if we want to hop on a Zoom or whatever. So we're like, we'll just meet like in a week or two. Once we find out like the insurance information and right. what the MRI says, we'll meet. Right. And so we signed the paperwork, um, obviously immediately, and we got started on your case. You signed it right there on your phone. Yes, sir. And then we just kept talking and we kept saying, like, oh, we'll meet, we'll meet, <laughs> we'll meet. <laughs> but like, we're like, we don't really need to meet. Like, what are we going to do? We're just going to talk. Uh, well, he, we're was gonna tra he was traumatized. He didn't want to get behind the wheel after yeah, that. I don't blame yeah, him, man. I don't blame him. At that time, I was very nervous to get behind the wheel, especially. Yeah, you like, want to, like, you have to go to some treatment. You, you want to stay out. away from 95. So you don't the idea, of coming, the yeah, idea of coming yeah. to Aventura was like a no no Yo, to it. It's crazy. Man. <laughs> when you get in an accident, it doesn't matter how big you are or who you are. No, man. You, get, you do get PTSD. It stays with you. Man. A big accident where you get whacked and you get taken to the hospital. It stays with you. It definitely gives you. I had a minorish accident, but it was kind of like a head on one. And right. I remember for like three or four weeks, I was just like, this, is this guy about Snapping. to yeah, I know, like, right? just, every, every time I went around a corner, I right. was like, am, am I going to get to you? Know? you know, it's just like worried. But eventually it does go away. It, 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 it goes away. But it but lasts for a minute. At least at least for a couple months. I'm not yeah, going to lie. It was it. real. It, it was it's just imagine just driving down the highway because I mean I work near the airport right. so I, I'm going down the highway literally every day so imagine driving down the highway and there's semi trucks everywhere that you buy. see like, they're literally. deadly man they and weigh then, so like, much so you just I get you just get really nervous you know what I mean yeah. so like the, the truck, PTSD is the very truck, real the truck accidents are like Very deadly. They're just still so this big. day. He will not pass us a mile. He will stay behind it. I'm not gonna really? wait. No, seriously. Like, <laughs> but, I mean, he's, there's, being, there's, he's being cautious. Man. He almost I, got you know, killed. What do you expect from the guy? They're like, come on, man. It's been months it's, now. It's crazy, man. You know, no, you good. It's, it's you're okay. Good. I mean, it's it's a real thing. So, <clears throat> so then we got you set up with your treatments and everything, right. and. um You know, what else did you have like any concerns as we were walking through the case or like like how did how did you approach that? Like where was your mind at? Well, just mainly just the how long the process was gonna be. That's what was really well, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't say that's the only thing on my mind, but it's just that like, was a big thing on your that mind. That was a big right? thing, yeah. Just knowing how long the process is gonna be, like how long do I have to do this? Um, like you said, and the end goal, am I gonna receive anything or am I gonna get, you know, was this whole process was worth so it was just Just the not knowing process of and the we not actually, knowing. Yeah, the not know, the, uncertainty, the uncertainty, I think, is a big, correct, correct. Is a big thing. And <clears throat> we actually got kind of unlucky. So one of the strategies that I do on a lot of my cases mm -hmm. for this reason is a lot of lawyers, I think Ronaldi had another case too with another lawyer at some point, and then he was like, that's when he found me. But a lot of lawyers, what they do is they they make you get all this treatment. Right. And then when you're finally done at the end, they like send a letter and they ask for the insurance company for an offer. So the client has to like do all this treatment and like they never really find, they know they never know where they're at. Like, exactly. What Correct. am I looking at? Am I looking at 2K? Am I looking at 100K? Right. Like what kind of turkey are we talking about here? And, and the it's lawyers- It's like they make, they're building a case before initiating any contact with the other side. Right. So it keeps the client in the dark and it doesn't build a lot of trust. Correct. Which is mm -hmm. a big problem. So, you know, several years ago, I was like, you know, just because that's the way it's always been done, doesn't mean that's the way I have to do it. So right. what I started doing <clears throat> is- As soon as I get your case, I start asking them to make me offers and I start demanding like money immediately. Right. Um, now it was interesting in your case, the person who was originally assigned to your file like butchered it. And I think she did make offers, but they were nowhere near what they should have been. Right. Mm -hmm. But we still did get some offers. Right. Do you remember that? I remember some offers in the in the beginning. I think like the first offer was were, like 37k it was or something low, and yeah, you already like, had had like your MRIs and obviously you had your hospital visit and right, stuff like that. Right. But <clears throat> what that does though is at least establishes like a baseline. Mm -hmm. So you know, oh wow, the insurance company already offered 40k. Um <laughs> so what that does though is it it it, it makes the clients <laughs> 
understand like, oh, the lawyers already got me an offer of 40,000 for my case. Right. And and then what it, what it really also does is it gives me a chance to talk to you and say like, look, this is how much they're offering now. You haven't, the doctors are saying that you need X, Y, Z. Right. You know, if you do the treatment that they're gonna get, that they're recommending, your case can only go up in value from here. Correct. So it provides, it, it accomplishes a couple things, I right. think is really important. So <clears throat> you find out how much your case is worth right now, which is good. So mm -hmm. you're like, wow, my case. So the lawyer, like say I give you a 40K offer, they give you a 40K offer and we talk about it. And I'm like, you know that like my fees and some medical bills, you're looking already at 20 in your pocket clean. Right. So you're like, okay, that's a good feeling. Like, you know, now at least you don't, you're like, is my case worth 1500 bucks? Like how much am I doing this for? Okay, right. my case is already 20,000 tax-free in my pocket so right now. So it looks kind of good So right it's now. like, it gives you, <clears throat> it gives you momentum. You know what I mean? And right. you're like, okay, and now this doctor said I should, now all I've had is an MRI, but the doctor says I need to try like an injection or I need right. to try like a laser procedure to see how it helps me. Um, and the lawyer, you know, explains to me what's gonna make my case more valuable. Right. So that's, so it builds like momentum for you as the client. Right. And it also kind of makes you, it gives us more opportunity as a lawyer and the client to build trust and like, you know, wow, he's working on my case. It's not like the paralegal or some secretary calling me. Like, and which I don't, I don't understand. A lot of lawyers, um, they refuse to call the clients. Like you've probably dealt with this too. Like they make the paralegal do everything. But like, when we would talk, our conversations would be like five minutes. Like it wouldn't be like four hours long. Okay, you got a 40K offer. That means about 20K in your pocket, you know, Go back to this doctor, see what he says. Right. This doctor's recommending this. You know, let's see how you feel. Let's right. see after you get maybe an injection or whatever the next treatment is. Let's let's talk in a two or three weeks. You know what I mean? Right. Five minute phone call, ten minute phone call tops, right? I like it about because you went straight to the point. It yeah. wasn't like no lollygagging or like, you know, like running me along, whatever you call it. You're just telling me exactly what it is and right. then this is the process we should go. And then and we just did that. So. And how much how much do you think it matters when you have the lawyer's actual cell phone number? I I think it matters a lot because I know that I can text you or call you at probably any time of the day and right. you will answer me if not at that time or five minutes later or two minutes later. It just I I know that I can reach you at any time and if I have a problem, you know, you're you're there. And if it, you couldn't reach him, I would have <laughs> I would have given him a phone call too. He knows that. Yeah. <laughs> but but like does don't you think it really creates like a different like dynamic from the client's perspective, yeah. knowing that you have your buddy, your lawyers, your friend, he's on WhatsApp. Right. He make it, it make the uh, the relationship a little bit more personal boy instead of a, just a business transaction. That's true. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still it, it, you you running a business and you looking out for your client and you know some people they don't put the they don't set the time aside for the customer you know right. and especially um, after they get so successful it just figure out you know I'm just gonna have an auto drive and I'll just focus call on the something secretary else. go oh, through I'll the front just, desk I'll just play golf with my buddies or <laughs> do whatever it is and, right. and then whenever the case settled then I'll, I'll I'll speak to them and give them the good news after the fact you know yeah I don't want to do any of, of the annoying stuff exactly <laughs> only the cherry picking exactly <laughs> exactly instead of kind of like you know initially set the tone yeah and make it personable make that person comfortable. And as a, as an attorney, I, I'm pretty sure it make your job easier because when you when you come up with options on how to help the client True. Uh, with the case, mm -hmm. then the trust is already established. A hundred percent. Okay, because the client in the back of their mind is not thinking that this guy just want me to do this just to get, just to get more money to put in his pocket. You get right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. Because. Lawyers, some lawyers in, in, in injury firm, they do that. Yeah, so of course. that's the reason with your model and the way you approach it and, and how personable, I'm pretty sure you are that personable with every one of your client that you deal with. It just make it easier for that person to trust you, you know? Yeah, so definitely. It, it goes a long way, man. It goes both ways too, I think, because it makes me, when my clients, you know, don't, they're like not toxic. They just ask me questions, listen right. to what I say, mm -hmm. Give me, let me give you good information. 
and we don't have like these back and forth. Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do this? Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the way that people say the question, like right. if you say, well, can you explain me why we do it this way? That's, I'm cool to explain it to you. Right. But if you're like, why, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? I'm like, you know, I'm still your lawyer. I'm going to do the best job I can for you, but it, I don't like want to go the distance for someone who's like nagging me I hear you. and toxic. You know, it's just like a I human mean, thing. It has nothing to do with I didn't want to give you I mean, no. I know someone who's like going through a case, you know, they didn't come to me before they went through the process. Obviously I would have referred them to you. And he literally have to drive to the attorney's office just oh. to get an update. I've heard of this before. It's crazy. Just to get an update because every time they and call they have to the go office, knock on the door. Exactly. Mm. Every time they call the office, attorney's not available or the the paralegal don't have any information. any any information. Sorry, in the file. I don't know yet. Yeah. Exactly. Or or we'll let the attorney know they'll call you. And he literally had to drive to the attorney's office just to say, hey, what's going on? What's the status with my case? Show up and pound and on the door. a client shouldn't have to do that to get a status on their case. Of course not. In this That's world insane. with the internet and, and the mind phone. You, mind so you, mind you, that person, that person called numerous times and apparently go say, I'm going to have the attorney call you and I'll give him the message. Right. So... After not getting the call, you you leave that person no choice. No, what are that, this what is are the they person you're calling your client? Right. This is a business transaction, right? Right. right. Because you're looking out for me, but I have to pay you for your service. Let's make it reasonable and respectable, right? Yeah. Call so, me back if my case sucks. <laughs> just call me back and tell me my case sucks, and then I'll I'll stop treating or I'll it, stop wasting it, everybody's time. Basically. Exactly my yep. point. So. You know, you you shouldn't have to chase the person, you know, as the client. Yeah. Because without the client, you don't have a business, right? And without you as a client, if I go alone by myself, I don't know what I'm doing. Fast. Yeah. So let's just even the playing field and be respectable towards one another. For sure. If you have good news, give me the good news. If you have bad news, give me the bad news. I'll know how to I'll know how to accept it. And as the as, as the the professional in the field, I'm pretty sure you'll direct me on on how to move forward, you know, how to approach it. So I think that one of the I mean I don't know because I'm not one of these lawyers who never calls their clients back, but I think one of the issues that the lawyers and their teams have is that the nobody's really um, either the lawyer doesn't want to do it and the staff isn't trained on mm. how to give the bad news. Look, the guy who hit you has crappy insurance. Exactly. It's either it's hey, honestly, zero or 10,000. But I wanted to tell you, so I don't want you to waste your time. Right. I don't want you to do a whole lot of treatment. You know, the other thing that does happen, I don't know, I'm not going to ever say names or anything, but the sad thing about it, and this is where the trusting the lawyers comes in, is that if a lawyer has your case and your case sucks, mm -hmm. it actually sometimes benefits the lawyer and the chiropractor for them not to tell you because they want you to go to the chiropractor mm -hmm. so that the, get the their buddy who's the chiropractor can, can take all your $10,000 of PIP benefits. Mm -hmm. And then once it's exhausted mm -hmm. and it's all paid out, then they call you and they tell you, oh, you know, sorry, the guy who hit you doesn't have any insurance and we're dropping you as a client. But now you just spent your car insurance with a chiropractor, your premiums might go up and mm -hmm. you just wasted 40 to 60 hours of your, of your life. Mm -hmm. So hmm. I'm not saying that lawyers do that, but there is an incentive for mm -hmm. lawyers and mm -hmm. chiropractors to kind of be in cahoots together, which it's bad. I mean, obviously it violates the lawyer obligation. The lawyer has to do what's in the best interest of the client right. always above all else. So Yeah, exactly. I, I think... That's that's definitely a great point. Those two, those two, I mean, of course, you know, when you when you're in when you're into a fail, you're gonna run into a lot of people that you know, right? Uh, you know, as a realtor and property manager, if I'm looking to get something done, I'll 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 I'll, I'll go with the best handyman or contractor that I have experience with. Right. Right. So it doesn't mean that that person me and them, you know, we in cahoots or, right. or, you know, he's gonna scratch my back, I scratch your right, back. Right, right, right. But you, you, have a, you have good experience with exactly. You know how to work together. Exactly. So it's just a matter of familiarity. But like you say, those are the horror story and knowing him, 
those are the things that kind of make him skeptical of the whole process. He's like, hey, who do I trust? You know, yeah, that's, am that's, I gonna get milked? Exactly. You know I mean? It's just like he 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 just simply wanted to know, you know, what his car was value at and where he was gonna get the rest of the money to replace his car. <laughs> that was that's really... technically he, the bottom. It, yeah, line. if we if you had just told him, hey, like my guy can get your car replaced. And get you five hundred bucks, and it'll be done in a week. He would have been like, "All right, sign me Man, up." Sign don't me even, up. don't you even start mean? it. I think we 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 were running a joke on him, they and were. and then we were like, "So let me see." So if you get like 50K, you good, right? He's like, 50K? 50K, I'm hey, good, I'm man. Good. I, I'm I good wasn't even that. expecting that. He would have signed good. away everything oh for 50K. God. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing I that, swear yes, to you, he was, he, was like, he was like, 50K, I'm good. And when you come back with his settlement and we were going to the process, he was excited that you did right by him and then excited that it didn't take so long. And that he technically got everything he needed out of it as far as his health. Yeah, uh, number one you thing. You know, the surgery went great. Uh, there wasn't too much downtime. The doctor did an amazing job. and uh, All paid for. No, all paid no, for and everything. No open, and, then, yeah. and then you did a little something extra with negotiating the bills and everything. I, I like mean, I, I, said, don't think, hey. I don't think any attorney bothered to do that. You, you don't get... over and beyond the, because, the, the line Because that when you heard of those horror stories in South Florida, when you come to attorney uh, injury attorneys, how, how are you going to... You know, your attorney going to send you like a, a settlement proposal. You're looking at a number. And when you, when, when you go to, to like pick up your payment... And he's like, here's what I was able to do. You know, I was able to tuck down this bill with the surgeon, blah, blah, blah. I got you a little bit extra. He was like, he I know you saw him when he was sitting at the restaurant. He's like, I was like, oh, wait, man. what? Yeah. <laughs> he was well, kind of I mean, excited. I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting he was kind of excited, you know? As so, the lawyer. But, as, but yeah. the overall story is that <clears throat> what kind of attorney that's going to take their time to do that? Right. 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 And... Most of them, the doctors or the chiropractor they refer you to, like I say, it's their buddy. So if I'm going to negotiate in the bill and bring it down, yeah. and I already told my client what they were going to get anyway, right. he was yeah. already excited and ecstatic, right. I'm going to pocket that. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, 100%. I think another thing that I really, I never, I didn't do this, and I've worked with attorneys on cases and they don't do this, is... I do the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. I sent you the spreadsheet, right? Yeah, you got yeah. me everything. Yeah. The spreadsheet is like, it's again, it's so easy to do. It takes me five minutes to do it. So we put all the numbers in the spreadsheet. I'll put one on the, we'll, we'll post a sample so people see what I'm talking about. Okay. And it shows what your settlement is, mm -hmm. shows all your medical bills. It shows any expenses that I had, right. how much I'm getting, right. how much each doctor's getting. And then sometimes I'll say, the surgeon's bill was sixty thousand. You know, I know he's gonna want thirty, but mm -hmm. I think I could do it for twenty mm -hmm. or fifteen, whatever. Yeah. So I'll put in the spreadsheet. I'll put like thirty, right. but I'll say, look, I know I could pay him thirty, but I think I could pay him twenty. <laughs> and every dollar that I pay him less is a dollar in your pocket. Exactly. I'll take it. So exactly. I'll run the numbers, like you know. So right now you're going to be getting two hundred fifty thousand, right? But if I can negotiate the bills a little bit, I might get you up to three hundred, right? right? So exactly. it's good because I'm keeping it real right. with you, the client, right? And at the same time, um, I'm managing your expectations. So right. I'm like, you're expecting two fifty, whether or not I get you two sixty, two eighty, two seventy, two ninety, you're always going to be like, damn, that's great. It's a lot better right. than they you we thought. You kind of like allow them to visualize it by presenting the Excel sheet, also, right? Because I I didn't have that experience because um, because it, you were my attorney in the right. process, but I'm pretty sure most client that deal with other attorney will simply know that what their attorney tell them they were going to get. Yeah, or they show so, up for the meeting it, it, and it's like 10 pages and they're like, here, sign here, sign here. Exactly. They don't Here's like, your check. Yeah. There's no breakdown. The There's no breakdown of of exactly how we get how we get to where we get, right? Right. I didn't see what your cut was. I didn't see what the medical it, bill was. The yeah, I exactly. I didn't see what nothing was. All you're doing is just simply giving me a check, you know? Yeah, so, and it's kind of like they want to like play hide the ball. They don't it, wanna, like, exactly. Play so that's where that's where that you know that 
you know, when it comes to like driving the point home, you know, as far as the trust, it starts from the beginning until you wrap up the case. And, you know, it, it's not a matter of, by the way, we're not getting paid to be here. So, yeah, this is his so, case. Has been so, over for I don't a while even see his case than, been yeah. over for a while. So, I don't see any other attorney who is going to have their clients take time out of their busy lives just to, and this is not an infomer- infomercial, we're not <laughs> getting paid for this. Right. So, it's like some client, based on the experience, I'm not, what, what, what the hell am I? Why am I here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, you're here because we had a good relationship. Exactly, exactly. So when ask him, when I talk about you, I, t- I talk about you like like I know you from childhood. Yeah, we've I mean, so, wow. We've known each other for that long. So yeah. it's, you know, I, I know you treat every client like yeah. that. Uh, and as I see you growing the business, uh, all the added experience and, and, and how you treat people and everything. So... It, it goes a long way, man. It does. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's really nice to hear. And yeah, I think when you do good work, you don't need to hide anything. That's you true. Don't. That's the key. It's beautiful. Like you don't I need do a billboard. Work. I don't need to. I don't need to you like. Don't need, you don't need a billboard. You don't, don't need, need a radio a spot. Yeah. Hey, we're yeah, the, <laughs> you guys here. We're telling about, everybody I'm about my everybody services. Know. It's I'm perfect. Letting everybody know. You need, you need any service? You don't need a radio right spot. Here. You don't need yeah, any. So like, why would I? And commercial. And, and, and those things build the trust even more. You know, here's your sheet. Take a look at the numbers. It all adds up. Bang, right. bang, bang. Um, so it's just every little thing that a good lawyer does for his clients makes them want to come and give a testimonial, come on the podcast, right. tell their friends and family, say, no, 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 don't hire. I've had people that are like, my cousin, she hired someone already, but <laughs> I know it's a mistake. It's right. this firm. They're all over TV. They, she didn't even meet a lawyer. I'm like, look, hmm. you know, have her call me. If it's only been a few days, no problem. I can take the case over. And I've gotten a lot of cases that way just because the people that are like, yeah, I called back the, the lawyer that he spent 10 minutes with me and now he won't take my calls. Exactly. In a week. Exactly. I'm like, well, you got my cell already. Exactly. It's up to you. You know, exactly. you texted me and I'm here for you. So, um, no, nah, I mean, with that being said, your settlement was pretty nice. It was. It was, it's not confidential. We could talk about it, but, you know, as a, as a client of mine, I don't think it's smart to like put your business out there. Mm-hmm. So your settlement was, you know, somewhere between 500,000 to a million, which right. is pretty substantial. Of course. Um, another thing that I think was great about your case is that you got a really high percentage of your settlement. You know, I, yeah. a lot of your money didn't go to the doctors or me. A lot of it went to you. And I'm, I really do appreciate that. Like, you know, going, like he's like, you're going through the numbers, giving the spreadsheet and me seeing what am I going to get? And like, okay, I can work with this. Yeah. I really do. I mean, I really do appreciate everything you did for me. And I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have got that, that, amount or that type of service that you gave me with another lawyer. So yeah. like I said, I do appreciate Ronaldy Ronaldy to give I me. Mean, I mean I remember that afternoon vividly. I was in my office in Delray where we keep he kept texting me while you were while you were uh, uh contacting the other attorney okay. trying to negotiate the final settlement. Oh yeah. So he keep on texting me. He's like, I'm like hey, hey they this, came back with that. Is this good? And is, then <laughs> I'm not and sure then I'm you, like, what do you think and then he's like, well Brent say you know we're gonna we're gonna counter with that. I think she's gonna land over here, and then I'm like, hey, you know he's telling you exactly what he's thinking and what the other side he's thinking. Then again, to drive the point home, how many in real time your attorney is negotiating with the other side and keeping you in the loop in real time. Yeah, that's not the best, just right? not just accepting a bogus settlement and say, hey, here's your cut. Your case is closed. In real time, hey Jonelle, are you comfortable with this? This this is what I think. This is what I yeah, think. Yeah, they're, they're at five hundred and eighty thousand. Know? Exactly. I'm, I'm still asking for nine hundred and fifty thousand. Exactly. This is what I want to put in your pocket. Yeah. As I promise, this is what I'm gonna do. That's, those were your exact words. Yeah, I, want, me I, want, not I want you to expert, have this in your me pocket. Me not being an expert and then you being an expert. That's why, like, you telling me, oh, this is what they're telling you. Okay, I'll go by what you tell I'm like, I'll do exactly what you want me to do. I'm like, I'm not going to go over beyond. I'm not going right. to go lower. Or that no, you were, you, you were great. Did you think, when we got to the end, when I was, like, texting you and calling right. you, like, okay, they're at 500, <laughs> we're at, you know, 
I think I could get them to 800, you know, whatever. Did you think it was real or like, were you still I'm like, kind of like, man, I'm, is this real? Like, am I dreaming? <laughs> At the time, I'm like, nah, this can't, we can't, part, we, it can't part be that was it, excited. Think, part of him was excited and part of him didn't want to screw it up. I mean, because, hey, what do I do? Because like, he, know, was, I mean, he like, was thinking, he was thinking you were being a little bit too aggressive. Remember, I told you he would have, he would have been good with 50k. Yeah, I remember now. I so, mean, no. so you know, your aggression kind of scared him a little bit. Be like, I don't know. It's <laughs> like, what's <laughs> the worst that could happen? I'm like, well, the worst that could happen is they don't want to. They they say they pull the offer and right. they say let's go to court. Exactly, right, right. which is ne almost never happens, but it could happen. <laughs> But it's funny because at the end, I remember you're like, I was expecting, he must have had a conversation with you because I was expecting him to be like, you know, I, ha I have a good read on people and I knew where right. you were at. And right. I was like, I was expecting him to be like, all right, that's good. Like, they, that's a big number. I think, I think we should take it. And I'm like, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, so here's where they're at and here's what I think I could get and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, I think we should go for more. And I was like, I'm like, you've been talking to your cousin. I mean, I'm hey, like, hey. <laughs> the way I was looking, I was like, maybe we can go a little more, a little more, but no, you tell me. No, hey, when, he this, text, yeah. when he texts me, I was at work. I couldn't talk to him on the phone. And he's like, I forgot the exact number. It was something in was like a 75 or something. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm like, I did some calculation. Because I don't know what your percentage was. Yeah, of course. I thought about it, and then I'm like, I didn't know what the medical bills was right. yet. And then it was, I think it was after the fact when you send the Excel sheet. So I'm like, hey, here's the breakdown. You're mm -hmm. gonna walk away with this. Right. Yeah, clean. It's like no, I say, no questions. Like I say from the beginning, it was great. You know, he he's he doesn't like to be doing all the run around. He's a straight shooter type of guy. He's not a negative guy, but right, he right. just doesn't like to waste his time. Right. The BS. You know, do, so, you know, when he saw the numbers, it was like he would have been good with 50K anyway. And I was like, hey, you you have like, Me you know, at knowing. least, at least almost 10 times of 50K. <laughs> Me you not know, know, so. How much I can get like on that type of, because I didn't know the type of crash that I had, you know what I'm saying? You know, going to the hospitals and all this. I'm like, okay. What exactly how much I can give, but right. not knowing how high it but went. But you didn't know because you just you're just a regular guy. Correct. Like, this is all I do. You know, right. all I do is car accidents, insurance, right. clients, doctors, medicals, numbers. I have it down to a science. Because right. remember, most injury law uh, uh, law firm they are they are after the volume. Right. Right. And when they get the volume, all you ever heard is the ten thousand dollar. Right. Settlement, right? right? Right. And then after they get their cut, the client is walking it's away with like, line. with like a couple thousand, not even enough to replace their car if their right. car is messed and up. And forget right? about their time and energy. Exactly. And their body. And you know, like I've I've sat in like deposition and and I've seen negotiation in in my in my line of work where where attorney is sitting with their clients. Like the last time I sat in one of these negotiations, that client had surgery and technically they were only getting like not even a hundred K, bro. Right. And I felt like that attorney wasn't trying right. to tell you the truth. Hmm. That your client went went through all this pain and suffering. Right. And you're just doing and, emotions. And then you're willing to like it, it was almost like the, the attorney was more hungry than the client. To That's tell you the truth, yeah. it's like you know what? I'm just gonna take what I can get. Yeah. You know, my ex-wife is looking for some money. I gotta pay them. You know, so. That's good. <laughs> I mean, it look, is what it is. You know, it is. It is. Uh, I also have a thing that I say like good. The good people wind up finding the right attorney for of that. Course, I hear of you. course, yep, so of it, course. So the world works itself out. Of but course. um, but yeah, man, I'm just super grateful for you guys coming on. Thank you so much for problem, telling man. the world about your experience with me and kicking it for us for a minute. We'll do it again in a few years when inevitably we have another family member or friend who gets in a crash and I have to represent them too and get them a big settlement. So um, my good and awesome friend, Janelle and client. I appreciate it, man. And same for Rinaldi, client of Brent Sibley and Modern Injury Lawyers. You guys are awesome, awesome. It was a pleasure to represent both you and all of your family and friends. So. Most definitely. You're Pleasure's a great man, mine, I appreciate man. it. Big ups, thank you very much, and uh, see you soon. All, all right, buddy. <laughs> nice. That was perfect. These guys crushed it, man. <laughs> awesome, They're really man. not being paid. We might have to get a podcast <laughs> ourselves. Imagine that. That's crazy. But no, 